Hello YouTube fans. Today we are going to take a look at the GX CS2 yet again and today we're going to run this up to pressure against the load. We've got a, a one liter little pony bottle here that is already up to around 3500 psi. We're gonna we're gonna take it up as high as we can within the 20 minute cutoff that we have to shut the pump down. But we're going to see what temperatures we arrive to on the way there. Join me. It's coming up. Welcome to the Young Hang Hot Rod Shop. Okay, everybody, let's get a real quick introduction to the players today. We've got the trusty GX CS2 pump that our friend donated to us to use for uh, videos in this series. We've got a thermocouple attached to the case of the motor underneath this cover. We've got one attached right to the side of the head. We've got one attached to the outside of the high pressure cylinder. And when I say outside, it's actually internal to the casting but there's a sleeve of cylinder pressed into that aluminum housing and we are attached right to the sleeve. So we're gonna see some interesting temperature data between this point and this point and I am quite surprised with the results. Um, also, we've got one temperature channel looking at the ambient air so you get an idea of what the ambient temperature is today. I also have gotten rid of the gauge on this gauge block for the GX CS2. I, I really am not a fan of the gauges that come with these units like this one. Um, they're calibrated, uh, the scale is in MPA. I don't know anybody in the Aragon world that uses that scale. I have been very vocal with the company that this gauge is useless to us here in the States. I'm not sure who it's on there to appease, but that's, a, that's a, another story for another time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the camera situated with a good downward shot of this and we are going to take some FLIR images of this pump in operation and take a look at some temperature data. I'm going to fast forward through this time wise because nobody wants to sit through this 20 minute video. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to switch the camera after we shut everything down. I'm going to switch it to time lapse and we're going to shoot a time lapse of this cooling down with the fans on. I think you're going to find something very interesting in the cool down process that is very telling. Okay, gang, here we go. Plugging in the power supply. Here our fans come on. You'll notice a little bit of elevated temperature here. Uh, that's because I did run this once to make sure I didn't have any leaks because I just put this new gauge on but that's the only reason there's a couple of degrees of heat still in there. Not going to affect this test at all. Start the pump. When we get to about 3000 PSI, I'll open the valve to the tank. So right now, this pump is working about as hard as it can. Didn't seem to slow it much for at all.
couple of other points I want to make really quick. You'll notice I was throttling, throttling the vent during operation as it got closer to 4,500 PSI. I didn't want to take it over 4,500 PSI. I just wanted to, to show it kind of working in that range uh, between 3,500 and 4,000 or 4,500. And we were there, we were between 4,000 and 4,500 almost the whole time. So this thing definitely got a workout. This temperature data is, is the real deal, but that's why I was constantly feathering that throttle. Uh, I had thought I had vented the bottle down a little bit lower than I did, so I just used the throttle to compensate and to get the run time I wanted. I wanted, I wanted 20 minutes of honest to gosh run time against the load, and I think we got that. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was some pretty interesting stuff right there. One thing I want to call to your attention, the two temperatures that I'll highlight here on the display the difference between this head clear up here and the wall of the high pressure cylinder are not very far away from each other. They track each other very closely. And what that tells me as an engineer is that the thermal transfer function of this casting is doing its job. It's getting that heat spread around to get all over the surface of that hunk of aluminum to get that heat out of there. And these fans do a pretty decent job of mitigating that, as you'll see in the cool-down footage, or may have already seen in the cool-down footage. What the most telling thing for me, the first time I ran this, was how dang hot this motor gets. Now, I don't want to set off the alarm bells, okay? I don't think it's getting excessively hot. Um, they can get up into those ranges. I'm not sure where this one's rated. I, I really have no idea. but. I don't think the 130 some odd degrees Fahrenheit that we saw on this really concerned, they don't concern me at all. Um, <laughs> really interesting was the FLIR pictures that I took and you can see the heat radiating out through these vent slots in the back. Um, anyway, I thought this was a great look at the thermal performance of this little guy. Um, do I think it's the best compressor in the world? No, I don't. Do I think it's a great little compressor in its price range? Absolutely, I do. Um, I think this thing is portable. It, the ones that I have have been very reliable, reliable for me in operation, and I have no problems recommending their, their use and their purchase. And by the way, uh, there is an Amazon affiliate link which really helps support the channel. And if you guys want to see more elaborate tests of these units with maybe some different lubricants used uh, in brand new units, by all means, jump on that Patreon down below and help support us and we will bring that information to you. I am working with the manufacturer to try and grow this knowledge base on this compressor and hopefully one day we'll eclipse the knowledge base on the Young Hang itself. And also, one thing, if I could ask you, if you've watched this far in the video, do leave a comment down below and share with me your experience of the CS2 and the CS3 in the wild. I, I love hearing those stories and a lot of them are positive, I gotta tell you. And uh, of the ones that have had issues, uh, GX as a brand has jumped on the grenade and, and taken care of those people pretty well within the warranty period. And as you know, Target Forge is getting ready to launch um, a line of parts for these compressors supplied by the original manufacturer. So we will be your source for out of warranty repair parts in the future. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Remember, be a light in the darkness. See y'all at RMAC.